this is a um, a different type of uh, beginning of my video. I usually just get right into the review, but in my opinion, the unboxing of the VA Audio Legacy 4 is some type of a religious experience for something as budget as the VA Audio Legacy 4. I think this accomplishes um, the feeling of opening something premium though they are actually pretty cheap. I think other IMs uh, need to step, step up in making better packaging for the IMs. I mean this just this looks absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And I know there are lots of people that don't really like having something like this. Um, but I personally do because it adds to the placebo effect of getting something really, really fantastic. Though for the L4, the TLDR is, um, it is something really, really fantastic in my opinion. If you remembered um, a few, um, maybe a week or two, get a lot of selection of your tips here. Um, a week or two, you got two cases by the way. The, oh, these feel premium as fuck, okay? The, I'm not gonna use these two, I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it in case I'm selling them. I'm probably not gonna sell them because they just sound so fantastic and they're so fucking cheap, so. I don't think I would sell them. If you can get the second hand, I don't know if anyone would sell these. Just go get one. Or just buy one new like I did. I buy a lot of things second hand. Like all of these items. Yeah, all of these items are second hand. But I bought these new because how good they sound for a budget price. When, if you remember what the uh, past review of the Moondrop Blessing 2, I um, I don't know if I mentioned that they are technically a budget I am due to how they perform comparing them with something over a thousand dollars. They sound amazing. And I would like to say something very similar is in the case of the Fear Audio Legacy 4. Okay, it's still new, so it's the cable's still very tight. Um, they just sound bloody fantastic for their cheap, cheap price. And I don't know. I I've tried various IMs at this price, at uh, um, a much higher price range than these, and I don't know if under. Under 800, no, no, there are the Monarchs and the um, Clairvoyants, but under those two, I don't know if there's anything competing with these except for the Blessing 2s, of course. So these are um, as much budget as something like the Blessing 2s. If the Blessing 2 should be like a $1,000, that means these should have been like $700. That's that's the equivalence of, of these two IMs. Like these, uh, then from this intro you would know that um, while the Fear Audio Legacy 4s aren't as good as the Blessing 2s, in my opinion, though there are a lot of things that these actually perform bet better than that, but an o as an overall IM, I will get to that later. Um, this is one of the best bang for your buck for $200. If you have two hundred dollars and you're not willing to buy something like the Blessing Twos, I could either get these, or if you want to save more money, get the Enemotics, or you, if you can get Sony's for um, that month. But though I doubt you would find one as easily as these, probably. Okay, so that's the build's fantastic. The build's like the L3. It's. Um, I think it's 3D printed. The, the shell looks amazing. It, it's very light. It's very, 
very light. Um, the fit is also excellent. Um, I have no problem fitting with these. These are uh, much smaller than the uh, Blessing 2s. So it's about as big as the L3. So if you fit like the DM6 or the L3s, you'll definitely fit the VA Audio L4s. Um, yeah, the cable is also pretty good. No complaint right there. It's a two pin connector and it's kind of different from the QDC type of um, connector in the L3s. And it also has the, the, the switch here that increase that reduces the bass actually, makes it a bit more flatter in presentation. I'd usually uh, turn off the switch when I um, went outside with them because I would prefer a bit more bass like sub bass there though uh, if I'm at home I um, would usually prefer the uh, the number two switch turn on the, the first switch basically don't do anything so yeah I would prefer so this review is going to be um, judged I guess the I am going to be judging this review based on the um, second switch turn on yeah, for your information so how do these sound the bass here is actually um about s it's actually a bit more present than something like the blessing too it's it's uh, it's present bass but it's not bloomy due to the um different dynamic driver used here rather than the l3 the l3's bass though they are fast but their definition is not really that well defined i guess if you're going up from the price cat category at their price category it's perfectly fine like a lot of bass aren't as good it's not going to be as good but going for the uh fia audio l4 they definitely sound um, appropriate though i would uh, prefer a bit more punch um than the bass um so yeah i would prefer a bit more kick though this have less kick than actually the blessing twos the uh, just just a tiny bit but it has uh, that uh, more rumble in the in the sub bass it has more presence down there also so yeah for the uh, mid-range i think these have actually a very 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 similar presentation as the blessing 2 do i would actually um, give it a, a better a slight not actually yeah slight edge uh, favoring the fia audio l4 due to the um i guess a bit more balanced uh, lower mid range making them does making them not sound as dry from it's not as dry not as thin sounding especially for male vocals that you should like some kind of weight to in like in the blessing 2 the blessing 2 is a bit thinner on the male vocals though the uh, fear audio l4 sounds very pleasant in the male vocal it's not as thick and um full as something as the ex1000 but it it is definitely a, a bit more fuller presentation rather than the blessing twos or the edematics it's not as thick as probably the l3s but it is um, thick enough that uh, you'll get a lot of a more soulful type of sound coming from this it's probably uh, partially due to the increase in the uh, increase in the base region also so yeah the uh, upper mid range is it's a bit you can say it's a bit shouty but i don't think it is it's about as shouty as the blessing twos if you think the blessing twos is shouty for you that means you probably think the uh, l4 is also shouty it, it it's it's a bit less actually than the blessing twos so yeah i i think the mid range here is a bit more flatter than the blessing twos um it is um very correct in tonality uh, in my opinion it's 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 one of the correct sounding ims um that i really like 
that I really like the tone of the sound of this IM. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, the treble is um, the treble is the the treble proper first. The treble proper is a bit boosted in my opinion. You you get a bit of the um, slight emphasis on the uh, lower treble region. It is. Um, it, do, it doesn't actually bother me like it doesn't bother me like any shape of the f in, in any shape or form um, it's a bit uh, more forward than something like the blessing twos or the l threes or the animatics yeah it's a bit more forward in the trouble proper however the trouble air is about as forward as probably the blessing two is which is not really forward it's if you look at the graphs of these two, the, the treble air seems to be um, to look a bit different sounding. However, um, it seemed to sound a bit more balanced here in the, in the VR Audio L4, in my opinion. While the um, something like the Edematics or the Blessing Twos got uh, less treble proper, and however they they, they boosted a bit, a bit on the um, treble air region in the 16k region the uh, l4 just gradually rolls off at the end of there i think it's more like the dusk i if i'm not mistaken if i uh, remember it correctly though i think the the dusk rolls off a bit quicker i guess i i forgot actually forgot so don't quote me on that so i don't have a lot of things uh, wrong in my opinion in the treble region i think it sounds just plainly fantastic also there um it is basically it it is um a very it overall a very neutral sounding i am in my opinion it has a bit of that bass boost that um is actually very welcomed uh for my type of preference um so it kind of follows the type of tuning that the L3 has, though people have a lot of complaints with the L3s that they don't have enough treble. So the, if you have the L3s and you think the L3s don't, doesn't have that enough treble proper or, the tr or treble air, matter of fact, I think the L4 is the correct IM to go to. Same if you think like the, um, Blessing to have a um, lack in lower mid-range emphasis. You might actually like this better. In my opinion, the tuning of these two, I actually prefer the L4 tuning, surprisingly. However, I would still categorize the uh, Blessing 2 as a better overall IM due to their technical prowess. Um, or talking about technical prowess, let's get to the technicalities of the um, L4. The L4's um, detail retrieval is is good enough, I guess. It the def the definition is not as rich nor as crisp as probably something like the Atomotics, but it's not as blunt as sounding as the L3s or the. Um, the M6. The Etymotics, however, I feel is a bit more artificial sounding in their crisp like nature. I guess. So I actually prefer the sound, uh, the definition of the L4 rather than the um, Etymotics. It's kind of like the uh, the presentation of detail is about as about similar as the um, Blessing 2s, though the Blessing 2s is not very very commendable in their um, detail retrieval department but it's it has that clarity type of sound and it is also um, a very open sounding I am in my opinion and it is quite spacious however not the most spacious definitely it's 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 type of you're inside a room a very very um, a vivid type of room it's 
it's almost like the Blessing 2s, however, not just not quite as 3D sounding as the Blessing 2s. When I'm t I, when I was reviewing the Blessing 2, I was like, this is a, an imaging type of level only open back headphones could make or could recreate, could present. However, the Blessing 2s have somehow that ability of placing instruments in this room. The VA Audio L4 also have that type of uh, ability, though not as much as the um, uh, Blessing 2s, I guess. Um, the separation is also good if you use the um, stock ear tips if you're not using stock ear tips the separation is not as good as you using the stock ear tips i don't know what these ear tips kind of do so yeah though i would actually the uh i i, I think the uh i would give a slight uh separation especially in the lower frequencies a slight edge if you actually turn off the second switch it creates some type of a base shelf if you're looking for that though if you're not like turning off the uh, turning if you if you're not turning off the second switch if you turn on the second switch it just gradually rise up in the base so i actually prefer the type of sound rather than an actual base shelf because i don't like the disconnected type of base so a lot of people actually seem to like that type of sound like in the edemotics you have that type of shelf and I don't really actually like that type of sound um, so yeah timbre wise actually it's 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 very pleasant sounding it's it's not dryish BA type of timbre like in the um, I actually don't have a lot of uh, BA IMs the, the DM6 is a bit warm yeah it's, it has that type of ba sound especially in the trouble region but not here it's it sounds very good i guess it sounds very natural it doesn't sound wonky or weird or anything for comparison i, I did a lot of comparison against the blessing twos it's just the fear audio l4 is has in my opinion a better tonality but they lack in the technical prowess of the blessing twos they have somewhat of the mini version of the Blessing 2s of all sections of the technicalities except for probably bass texture sub bass texture like rumble that's kind of rumble or the uh, detail retrieval because I don't think the Blessing 2s detail retrieval is that fantastic too I guess uh, it it might be actually a, a bit better on the blessing tubes, but the treble no, the the ma macro macro details is actually more pushed here in the L4, so you might hear that type of a more detailed type of sound in the L4. Against the L3s, they are actually a very similarly tuned IM. Um, the L3 is a bit more dull in sounding i guess it has less treble less extension uh, it has a not as good punch not not punch not as good it actually has better bass like more i don't I, i'm not gonna say better it's, it's actually just more bass punch it's just have that type of um bass bloom i guess here in the L freeze. However, the L4, the base is much more tighter, it's much more tidier. However, I would sometimes miss the type of punch that I have in the L freeze. However, as an overall IM, as all the detail retrieval, definition, like everything else, the L4 just kicks the L freeze ass. And I really love the L freeze. I really love the L freeze. However, the L4 is just that much better in terms of technicalities and tuning that I think the price jump is too minuscule to to promote buying the L3 is new in my opinion a small difference of $80 and it's it's actually not a small difference it's but the difference here is 
that significant in my opinion against the etymotics um, ER2XR um, this is a fairly new IM in my uh, arsenal actually so I don't have a lot like a bit much like a legion no, not a legion like a lot of time just I'm just gonna say a lot of time with them so put this compare it like add a grain of salt in this um, like take it with a grain of salt so, um, the R2 XR to me sounds a bit drier I guess in in the, in the, in in their presentation it's the base is uh, while it's more defined I guess here though it's more disconnected than in the in the in the mix I think the um, the ER2 XR's mid-range is a bit shouty comparing with the uh, L4's if you look actually look at the graphs they are probably equally shouty but there is a sudden drop off in the um, ER2 XR um, low treble corresponding with the uh, upper mid range makes type and, and it makes them sound the treble sounds a bit more subdued while the upper mid range is in my opinion a bit too enhanced and that subdued lower treble and actually mid treble affects that the uh, has an effect that makes the R2XR's treble not a very balanced one because it has a, a bit quite a bit of boost back in the upper treble it is actually a fantastic IM it's very a uh, crisp sounding it's the imaging imaging though not a very 3d type of imaging it's pretty fantastic the these the, the um, it's not the most detailed definitely but for the price that they are the cheap price they are it's very fantastic and it, it creates and it has that dynamic driver timbre it's not a, a dry BA due to the ER2XR using a dynamic driver instead of the usual uh, BA of the Etymotic IMs comparing them with the DM6 I don't know why I <laughs> I, I actually placed the M6 here just to say that it has been a long way for Chai Fi from the $200 DM6 to the $200 of L4 because these two are not comparable. The L4 crushes DM6 in every shape or form. Uh, every, in every shape and every um, component in every thing from packaging and sound and technicalities and tonality e everything is better on the L4 and it priced very very similarly I guess they both about $200 so and BGV PDM6 was very hyped back then when it first came out so yeah a very stark difference against the um, Sony MDR EX1000. Overall, this is in my this is my favorite IM. So yeah, take and get uh, take it for the green assault again. Um, the EX1000, in my opinion, has a richer, more linear type of mid range. It has that type of fullness to the sound to make male vocals sound very very pleasant it does have that um, sharpness in the treble that if you don't have that deep fit in an ideal environment you would it would bother you I guess detail retrieval is also better on the EX1000 um, the 3d sound it's it's actually a bit more 3d sounding in the um, the audio L4, the, 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 the Sony X1000 is a type more oval shaped imaging rather than just like in, you're in a, in a room. I mean, it's, it's, you're still in a room, but just more elongated shape of room. So yeah, I guess that's the review for the L4. In my opinion, it's a very excellent IM and I think you should, for the price that they are, it's a no brainer for you to buy one. That's it for the video.
Don't forget to watch Jason's video. See you next time. Godspeed.